Hello, and welcome to Czar Money. Thank you for signing up for the free trial of our accounting software. We wanted to take a moment and give you a quick overview so you have a better understanding of how to move about the software. Starting at the top, in the blue bar, we have the Czar Money dashboard or home button. This will bring you back to this screen from anywhere in Czar Money. Next is the search bar. This helps you find something specific like names, phone numbers, or sales numbers, for example. The gear icon is the company preferences section. This is where you will be doing most of the tailoring of Zara Money to your company's needs. Next is the customer service section. Click on this icon to get answers to your questions by sending us a message over chat, searching our help section, or give us feedback about your experience using Zara Money. Last is the profile section. From here, you can select which company you'd like to use, go to your profile page, go to our support page, submit a support ticket, and log out. In the navigation bar, we have the major workflow sections of the software. Anything having to do with that type of workflow is located in the drop-down menu. I've enabled all the options for each section so you can see what is available. If you see something in my drop-down menus that you don't see in yours, you'll need to change one of the settings in the company preferences. The major workflow areas are sales, purchases, items and services, banking, company, reports. We also have a few items of note on the right. Privacy mode. This brings up a screensaver so if you're not at your computer, others cannot view your financial data. Add a widget. These are mini reports that give you insights and info about your company at a glance. We will talk more about these in a moment. Here on the home page, you'll notice two big sections. The top section is the Getting to Know Zara Money intro section, and the bottom section with all the informative widgets. In the Getting to Know Zara Money section, there are four steps to help you get started using Zara Money. Let the journey begin, uploading your logo, how to send your first invoice, and run payroll. You can skip any one of the individual sections by clicking on the Skip This Step button. If you want to view these sections later, you can minimize the window by clicking on the arrow button in the top right corner of the section. The second section is where your widgets are located. These widgets, as mentioned earlier, provide you with real-time insight into your company's financial performance and other critical aspects of your business. You can customize your insight widgets any way you want, either here or in the report section. I did want to take a minute to go over the first step, the Let the Journey Begin section. It has a link to our help section and we highly recommend checking it out. At the top of a page is a search bar where you can look for specific articles. If you can't find what you're looking for, check out each workflow section. We've organized it so it matches the layout of the workflow section in the software. We also have an accounting questions section and an FAQ for any other questions you might have. If you don't see an article with an answer to your question, send us a message and we will create one for you. One final tip before we wrap up our tour. Zara Money can be open in multiple tabs and windows, making it easy to see all the information you need all at once. Just right click on the home button and click either open a new tab or open a new window. Now you can have all the information on your screen at the same time. Two things to know about this trick. You can't have Zara Money open in two different browsers, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, etc. It will log you out of the first browser. If you enter something in one tab or window, refresh the other ones to see the changes take effect. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining the Zara Money family. We look forward to having you on board. And remember, we're always here to help.